Tonight, this episode of It's Your Call is one of our continuing series dedicated to facing the mortgage crisis, brought to you with the support of the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Good evening, I'm your host, Roger Bowman. Some homeowners are finding themselves in a place they have never been before and are trying to find out what to do. Many have lost their jobs, the APRs have gone up on their homes, and they can no longer pay their mortgages. Where can they turn? We hope to answer these questions and more this evening. My guests this evening are Ryan Escamila Woods. He's a homeowner retention specialist with the Neighborhood Partnership Housing Services in Ontario. And Melinda Opperman, Vice President of Community Outreach for Springboard Nonprofit Consumer Credit Management in Riverside. So tell me, what organization are you with and how did you get involved? I'm with Neighborhood Partnership Housing Services. Uh, we're located in Ontario, California. Uh, we've been around for 17 years now. We started in Montclair. And um, how I got involved is basically working within the servicing industry. I, I then wanted to take that experience and then educate the, uh, the public or my community. So let's talk a little bit about, uh, uh, well, actually, first, we already have callers in. I knew that was going to happen <laughs> because, and I want to let our viewers know, these are the people that can actually answer some questions for us. We're glad to have you in studio today. So let's go to a comment. This is Gene from Palm Springs. You're on the air at your call. Gene, what's your question? Well, I have a statement. Uh, I'm just wondering why that uh, someone hasn't told the homeowners that they have 90 days from the day of the service of the notice of default before they have to move. During the first 60 days, they can renew the loan or uh, bring the loan current at their option. And I'm just wondering why someone hasn't mentioned that on your program. Okay, so his question is about the 90-day moratorium and the 60-day foreclosure process. Let's talk a little bit about what is that foreclosure process. L not addressing the 90-day moratorium that we've heard about recently, what is the foreclosure process? When Ty did you? Okay. No, typically a homeowner has three months of going without making a mortgage payment before the loan would be referred to the foreclosure department. Now, once it goes to the foreclosure department, it doesn't mean that the homeowner has actually lost the home. It's just in a different area. So for the homeowner, it's going to cost them just a little bit more to bring that loan current. However, the foreclosure process itself can take anywhere from six months to a year. But um, the homeowner has all the way up until the actual sale date to try to work something out with the lender before the house is lost. So if the sale date has come and now passed, at that point, the homeowner wouldn't have any option. But they do have an option to work something out with their lender all the way up until the actual sale date. So the first step, I think, is they get a, a notice of default. Once the foreclosure department decides we're going to proceed, they get a, a notice of default, certified mail, I think. Correct. Um, that means that they're actually in foreclosure, or that's the first step. What does that signify? The notice of default is basically the last letter from the collection department advising the homeowner, you have 30 days from the date of this letter to contact us to make some sort of arrangement. Otherwise, we will uh, pursue further action, which will be foreclosure. So letter of default does not mean foreclosure. What's the next step? We, we don't do anything for 30 days. We're not economically viable to do it. What's our next step? I would say, I would say contact the lender. Even though you may not have the ability uh, to, uh, to do anything right then and there, your lender may have some sort of option that may allow you uh, to go a couple of months without making a mortgage payment, allowing you that time to get back on your feet so that way you don't have to worry about foreclosure. And I just want to let our viewers know, I have personal experience to that. I know somebody who did, in fact, and seemingly surprisingly easy, uh, was able to obtain a payment deferral on one of the loans the person had, percent of first and a second, and one of those uh, they put in a, a three-month deferral, I believe it was, uh, and just did it almost over the phone. And for the homeowners, that would be um, called a, a forbearance plan or a special forbearance agreement. So that allows I, the homeowner or allows the lender to reduce or suspend their monthly payment for a period of time. Is that something that the banks do voluntarily or is that term that you use, the forbearance, is that something that Congress is pushing for? How does that come about? It's something that the lenders um, already do within their system. So in this case, look for special forbearance. Mm -hmm. Let's say that doesn't work. What's the next step? 
that the, that the homeowner that's not paying, not current, will see what's the next action taken against them? Again, if, if they do not have the ability to um, afford the mortgage payment, if they've tried to contact the lender and there was no workout solution at that particular time, then the loan would run its course with the collection process and then eventually go to foreclosure. However, um, again, all the way up until the actual sale date, the homeowner has that time to still work something out. So even if the loan did go to foreclosure and let's say uh, they were out of work or unemployed for some time and now they do have employment, once they receive uh, an acceptance letter from their employer or they were given an offer, they can then contact their lender and say, look, I now have employment. This is what my wages will be. Uh, here is a list of my monthly expenses. Now can we do something to get myself back on track? So you mentioned notice of sale. What does the word foreclosure specifically signify? And the reason I ask is there's anticipated that there will be 4 million foreclosures this year. So 4 million people apparently are going to go through the entire process we're articulating. And we want them not only to know the good advice of reach out to you or reach out to the lender, but to give them an idea of what their experience is going to be. And I think more importantly, to let them know the point of no return mm -hmm. versus when they still have a chance. Because Ryan, as you aptly pointed out, until the unit is sold, they still have a chance to renegotiate. But Correct. a lot of people I've heard feel that once they get these official notices, it's done, there's nothing they can do, which might not be accurate. Being in communication with your lender early on prepares them, and then they can go ahead and take a look at your loan during this time to see what they can actually do for you. They may be able to give you a modification as low as 2%, maybe extend the term of the loan out as far as 40 years, and if that is still not enough, they can then go ahead and look at reducing some of the principal balance. But if the homeowner does uh, vacate the property because of fear once they receive the notice of default or the notice of the trustee sale, it is possible that the lender may not work with them because one of the requirements are is that the property has to be owner occupied. Okay, so you're saying once they vacate, right. then they're not able to work with them. Right. Yes. So let's say I received a notice of default or a notice of trustee sale. If I were to vacate the property, even though the house hasn't gone through the whole foreclosure process, uh, if the lender finds out that the property is vacant, they will actually send somebody out, which is, uh, well, they will call a property inspector. They'll send that property inspector out to actually change the locks on the property just to, just to secure uh, their investment. Once that's done, then chances are the lender may not want to work with me because I've, I've basically skipped town.